Hello and welcome to Aspirin and Anemia. My name is David Woodruff. I'm the editor of Critical Care Nursing Made Incredibly Easy. I hope to make this incredibly easy for you too. For a long time now, we've used low-dose aspirin as a prophylaxis for prevention of clotting that may occur in cardiovascular events. However, the question remains over many, many years as to whether or not this is safe. Aspirin is a non anti-inflammatory and will inhibit platelet aggregation at low doses. It may also prolong bleeding time. So how does this fit into the whole scheme of potential complications? So let's take a look at what happens with aspirin here. So here's our arachidonic acid that stimulates prostaglandin formation and a protectant phospholipid in the gut. However, aspirin blocks this process. Now, and as far as pain goes, this is a good secondary process here of blocking prostaglandin because that is one of the components that causes pain. However, prostaglandin also creates that protectant phospholipid in the gut that helps to protect the gut from injury. So by giving aspirin, we're decreasing that prostaglandin, increasing the chance that we're going to have erosion of the gut and potentially GI bleeding, even, even if it's just occult bleeding. So what ends up happening is the patient develops an ulcer. Now this may be very small, and in fact just have small little bits of occult bleeding that is occurring over a long period of time. Now obviously if it's an ulcer and it's bleeding, and, and you can see it, that's uh, one thing. Then we obviously want to stop the aspirin. But if it's a cult and you really don't know that it's happening, but we're just having some slight decreases in the patient's h and &H, how important is that? How significant is that? So let's take a look at this. If we're looking at the difference between aspirin, and this is low-dose aspirin, and placebo, we see there's a 23.5% chance of anemia or significant anemia in patients who are taking aspirin versus 20% in patients who are not. These studies are looking at our older populations, so older than 60 years old, given aspirin or a placebo. So you see that there is a slight increase, slight difference with aspirin. However, that difference, that change there was significant statistically. So what does this mean? This means that you're going to have more patients developing GI bleeds in that aspirin group than in the placebo group. So even though it was a small difference between the two, it was significant. Obviously, anemia has many significant consequences on the body. And the debate now is, is that anemia significant enough that it would warrant stopping the aspirin? So in other words, is the consequence of anemia to the heart greater than the consequence of the potential for platelet aggregation and causing clotting in the arteries. Here's the reference if you want to take a look at it, McQuicklin and colleagues. The effect of low-dose aspirin versus placebo on incidence of anemia in the elderly, a secondary analysis of aspirin and reducing events in the elderly trial. Thanks for joining me today. My name is David Woodruff. Until next time, bye now.